your skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul, seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You got some things you want to do? They seem really excited about something bleed. <laughs> Tyler just glares at you. Mind your own business. This is going to turn into it or you. Misfit friends are gonna go into the pipe and run into the clown. Did that ever happen in an Arnold Stein novel? No. And probably not. But that's all that's also the book where Stephen King goes off the deep end in my opinion. Uh I'm trying to remember how when that came out or how much high he was on cocaine. That that one had the preteen orgy. That didn't answer yeah. my question. Uh, probably heavily in cocaine era. Somehow didn't manage to fit that into the movie adaption. Why is that? Oh, I, I got bored, so I... Uh. No, okay, sorry. <laughs> Consider context, Dan. <laughs> Consider context before you speak. Um, okay. Uh, I used to do movie reviews, and I tried to find... The, oh, the, the the lab, the recording um, of the carry ones, and so I actually found the script. I couldn't find the recording, so I decided to re re-record it again, and maybe I'll work on it again. <laughs> uh, but I went on a long rant about like Stephen King, you're great, but you also make terrible decisions sometimes, and that was one I brought yeah. up. Or hedge animals in The Shining being scary, or things like that. It's like, Stephen King, you're so good, but... What a snazzy top hat. Tell them my hat now. Tell them my hat! No, I don't want a shrunken head. Yeah, sure. Um, bullets. There's a jar in front of that purple box. I guess there's another one that looks similar to it later on. You might pick up. Is Arnold Stein going to show up at this? Okay. Yeah. Touch me harder. I mean, I mean, go look at it. Oh. No. Oh. No. No, I know what's going to happen. It's going to be like a big scary bunny. It's going to be a wear rabbit. Yeah. I, I didn't think to do that, but... Oh, that's cute. Thank you so much, the rabbit says. I'm not much without this hat, I'm afraid. My name is Amazo. Perhaps you've heard of me. No? Well, you have my gratitude regardless. Huh. Yeah, that's normal. Alakazam, I'm stealing the van. Okay, if and you're wondering, the out of the way. when I just talk to him normally, just like, well, see ya, and then he just disappears. But I still have the hat, so I'm wondering if that was when I was supposed to use it. Ah, well, there we go. Secret tunnel. I guess that was something I was supposed to do. You are much smarter than I. I assumed it was going to be a big scary bunny if I didn't put the hat on it. To that that it is down. fair. That is fair to assume. I have not read Goosebumps books because I am a tiny baby. I am only familiar with a few of them. So... I saw, like, maybe three episodes on TV of the TV series. Yeah. Well, I, watched a, I watched a couple. I went through a phase probably, like, when I was 14 where those were on. I saw the mask one, and I, I, I saw, saw the, end of that one. the one where, like, her dad or something has, like, scary killer plants in the basement. Yeah, I saw that one too, maybe. Yeah. I, I saw one where a kid orders some like growth hormone for ants and then they become so big they basically wipe out humanity. I'm as strong as an ant if an ant was this big. <laughs> yeah, that ain't that big. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What's that from? Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball P. Oh. Dragon's <laughs> Ball P. Kick, 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 kick. Yeah, when I grew up I was always more an animorphs than Goosebumps. It was a, it was a rivalry yeah. in my grade school. Interesting. Really? <laughs> just imagine there's gang fights. <laughs> well, I was I was pretty I, I was very pro animals. Like animals is much better, and more interesting story. You're probably more of a baby green goose. Sure, oh, yeah. such bold words. I don't know, probably something the, like that. The ball 
balls on you, sir. The pretty busted balls, balls on, you. on you. Wanna jump in the hole? Nope! That's probably a good decision. You die if you do. What happens? You just die. You just keep falling forever. Oh, so it's just a hole that yep. infinity? There's Don't a trophy jump for in holes. There's a trophy for dying like a lot of ways. So like I that experiment. hole Don't in that house. Remember that? Oh! Alright. Oh yeah, how's the house hunting going? Oh, I, I found one. Oh. You found one? Yeah. Oh, Yeah. Was I, it that one? No. Oh. <laughs> I wanted the hole. The well, one. I can always build onto it, and then I can have yeah. a wacky hole in that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> I just love it. How did Jim even get here? That is a good question. Your house right there? That big fucking spooky ghost house? Her house? Yeah. No. Oh. That R.L. Stein's house? After I killed the plant person, I feel anyone saying roots is very awkward and untrustworthy. Yeah. Okay. And then she disappeared into thin air. Your mailbox is the one on the far right. Why do you just run by somebody in the streets and they're just on a tape recorder saying to themselves, eat ass, suck a dick, and sell drugs? <laughs> look, coupons. Local dairy freeze. You never know when you might need them. Maybe there's like an ice cream monster. I don't know. Like a... Well, I have good news and bad news. Vegeta, uh, asteroid hit our home planet and your entire family's dead along. We're going to Dairy, Dairy Queen! My whole family. Dairy Queen! But my race. <laughs> See, it's your home now. I don't think so. Oh, we skipped it, but they're, uh... Before you crossed the bridge, before you saw the plant guy, yeah. uh, that tree that had the dog poster on it, you can try yeah. to climb it. And you don't climb it, but the text says, you could totally climb it though if you wanted to, you just, you just don't feel like it right now. So is your house the creepy creepy Yep. Mansion? Your house Why? has been replaced by the creepy mansion, and you're not sure how. Sorcery? I didn't even 
No, I was looking for a... Uh, I was about to say, uh, I didn't think you saw the dialogue about the spare key at all, but you just happened to jump right to it, so good for you. Kids come out here and use your sandbox? Fucking kids. What do you think, team? What was in your inventory? I had four pages worth of stuff. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, How long did you play? Like two hours. Okay. Did you, did you like this game? I like playing quick stuff. I, I will say, I could solve some of the puzzles that made sense, and then some of them was a case of. Huh. <laughs> I feel also I would have done better. Now, somehow I missed the directional thing. So, like, there's a part where you go inside on the staircase and there's two separate landings. But I didn't know that, so I was only going to the left and I couldn't do anything because I couldn't realize if you clicked to the right. Uh, that's the front door key. So, uh... uh do I need to go back there? Well, there's something worth seeing back... But, no, not there. It's the front door. But I don't know if you want to make a detour just to see it. You want to see a big creepy bunny monster? Not sure. especially, but right. I guess I'll go Do with it. it. Yeah. Alright, then you have to back up a bit. Backtrack for a little bit. Are you quite sure that I didn't make you go away forever? Uh, well, hmm. That's you know, question. it's the beast from the east, which I don't think is connected to a rabbit. It just kind of looked like a rabbit a little bit to me. But actually, I'll be very interested to see if you defeated that monster, that, uh, yeah, just down again. I'll be very interested to see if you actually did defeat it. Okay, go to the right. Nah, okay, I guess it's not really a rabbit. That's not that creepy. Okay, see, I explored this before he, this dude showed up, so you can see there's, like, cracked dirt. So as soon as I got the spade, I was like, I know what to do here! And then I showed up here, and then this douchebag was just sitting around. Uh, are you the lost dog? That's what I was wondering. So I like to try to give him the poster. Is there any way to defeat it? Uh, well, you can try throwing a shoe or something at it. things up with the sink. Oh, so there's gonna be something creepy in the, there's gonna be like a zombie or something in the fridge because there are flies. So take it? You can't reach into it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, see, that's Mom why. Come really far these days. 
That's what I like about point and click adventures is just that of the item descriptions. Especially if they're rather amusing. None of that has to do with the space boogs, though. No. They're scarier than anything you would ever know. Space boogs. They'll pick you up and throw your space boogs. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> this is the word. <laughs> Clowns, they scare me a lot.